thing I got to do is tell my papa I was a born again Christian. Papa, it's been alive. I believe in Jesus. It's a Eleven million women are now learning how to read because of what our soldiers have done. Where were the feminists when eleven million women were taught to read? Written on the wall of the mosque in Kabul, Afghanistan. Do not teach the women to read and write. sand monkey, um, been called worse. I came to America after going to Beirut and then Cairo. And uh, when I came to America in 1978, at the age of 14 years old, um, I've lived a very urban life. I'm a very citified person. Never had a, a lawn to mow. I've never fished, never hunted. I'll, I'll, I'll share more about this in a little while, but it's all to say I wanted to come for a number of reasons, one of which was because of um, the work that I do. Uh, being raised as a Sunni Muslim and speaking Arabic and, and uh, living in that world, speaking Arabic, speaking Arabic, speaking Arabic, speaking Arabic, and speaking Arabic and, and uh, living in that world, we have, my brothers and I, um, find out about some of the things that the Muslim community... My father was a Muazin. I'm the oldest of three sons to his wife, this one wife. He had many wives. I came as a faithful and devout Muslim. Every debate I've ever had, Muslim, oh, you do not understand Islam. Oh, you need to understand the Arabic. Let's dance. That was my language before English. English is hard. Oh, you need to understand the Arabic. Let's dance. That was my language before English. English, that was my language before English. For those of us who speak Arabic, you will listen to Al Jazeera, and you will listen to uh, Arafat, and you will listen to these men who will say, We will push you into, we will push the Jews into the Mediterranean, and then they will turn around in English and say, We want peace. And you will listen to uh, Arafat, and you will listen to these men who will say, We will push you into, we will push the Jews into the Mediterranean. We are taught in Islam that Allah is creator and he is judge. But we have a verse in the Quran that says, Allah has no son. Allah and Jehovah are not the same. Not by but we have a verse in the Quran that says, Allah has no son. in the Quran that says Allah anturus and this march I'm going to Israel and I love to take my students down underneath the dome of the rock because there under the dome of the rock is supposedly the rock upon which Abraham sacrificed his son my entire life as a Muslim, I had been taught, my entire life, I had been taught that Abraham reached the top of Mount Moriah, raised up the knife, plunged it down, and at the last minute, Allah saved the life of Abraham's son, Ishmael. Ishmael, 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 Ishmael. Islam teaches, teaches that it was Ishmael. 
Do you know how I felt when I got to Genesis and I found out the truth of the book that 2,200 years after Moses wrote it, 2,700 years after it actually happened, that Muhammad changed the story? So when I take the students underneath the Dome of the Rock, I tell them, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in Arabic. You guys don't know Arabic, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it because there's six Muslims who are stationed here all the way along who are listening to everything that is being said. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in Arabic. You guys don't know Arabic? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in Arabic. You guys don't know Arabic, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it because there's six Muslims who are stationed here all the way along who are listening to everything that is being said, and we're going to tell the story the right way. And they lose their mind when they hear you say Abraham and Isaac. Shut him up! parents, loved ones, specifically those that she thinks will not make it without her help. What about the wayward brother? So what do they do? They must stand and read publicly why they are dying as a martyr and who they want to take with them. That's what those videotapes are for. Have you seen those videotapes of them reading before they go and bomb? This is what they are reading. <laughs> I declare who I will send. Okay? Have you seen those videotapes of them reading before they go and bomb? This is what they are reading. I declare who I will send. I declare who I will send. Okay? Now, do you see how it applies to the atonement? Um, but you do not have a choice. Who is allowed to divorce? The man, all he has to do is face Mecca and begin the Nikah. Who is allowed to divorce? The man, all he has to do is face Mecca and begin the Nikah. La khakbar, la khakbar, la khakbar. He disowns her three times. He says, I disown you, I, I divorce you, and you are divorced. You don't get any land. You get nothing. La khakbar, la khakbar, la khakbar. in a debate in Chicago with a woman, interestingly enough, at the University of Chicago. And this woman said, well, you do not understand the Arabic. The Arabic here says to tap her lightly. And I said, well, first off, yes, I do know the Arabic. And l'chesh means to smack with the open hand. And secondly, what? Well, you do not understand the Arabic. The Arabic here says to tap her lightly. And I said, well, first off, yes, I do know the Arabic. And l'chesh means to smack with the open hand. And l'chesh means to smack with the open hand.
my language skills allow me to speak to various groups, and speaking in places that do not offer honorariums, such as prisons, mission groups, Arabic language fellowships, etc.